now capital of South East London, was once a thriving hub of music, nightlife, shopping and civic campaigning. This month, over 60 performers and artists will transform the town centre in a promenade theatrical event through the historic Broadway theatre. One of the main attractions is a production called Catford Tales, a story that looks back at how Catford has changed over the years. In a moment, I'll be chatting to the artistic director, Helen Stanley, from the Lewisham Youth Theatre about the event. But first, let's take a look at one of the main attractions, their production called Catford Tales. Unfortunately, we've lost sound on there, but uh, Helen, I know Cat, but it's on the South Circular. Yes. It has a one-way system. In fact, I think it's got <coughs> two, one around the Broadway and the A21. Uh, but yes, it has. I'm always going somewhere else. I'm not going to Catford, so am I missing something? Yes, you are. Get off the bus. Stop your car. Yes. Um, Catford is an extraordinary place, um, and I have to say, I don't think we quite understood how extraordinary it was until we started this project. So you were going around the one way system? Yeah, no, as I was well. always getting off the bus at the Broadway Theatre, which is where they're based in Catford. So, what did you uncover then? Because obviously, yes, it's a sort of still thriving part of South East London, but it's, you discovered there's a lot more to it. Yeah, I think it was about. Um, the change in our perception of it. I mean, we work with young people, and we've recently been expanding to work with our community as well. So this project came out of a natural progression within our work of storytelling and intergenerational work. Um, and it was also a chance encounter with Mavis on the tills of Tesco's when she told me that the day that Tesco's opened in Catford, the Grenadier Guards marched down the precinct, that Bruce Forsyth came with Miss World. And this was not a Catford that myself, my colleagues, or any of the young people recognised. Um, and we started to look uh, at the images and the past. Now, as adults, we were fascinated by that, but we didn't know whether our young people or our community were interested in that. So we began tentatively to um, share what we had discovered with our young people. And they, too, were just bowled over by a Catford that was not what they knew or understood. Well done, Mavis, for, for <laughs> mentioning that. So I suspect it doesn't happen now with supermarket openings. Uh, tell me what you're trying to recreate with this event. Is it just a sort of a marking the past? Or are you hoping that sort of some things will continue to go forward? Well, when we started, we were working with three key words, and that was transformation, uh, redevelopment, um, and community cohesion. So those are our three um, things that we've been working with. I can't remember what your question was. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think it's because you spotted one. Uh, yes, more sorry, one just turned up behind us, unfortunately. <laughs> it's late. Yeah. Uh, but just to sort of tell me what you can see there. We, we mentioned Cat the Tales. What's that all about? Oh, yes, sorry. Um, so it, we are using uh, the tool of theatre um, as a way of um, looking at regeneration and community cohesion. That's really what it's about. And it's about bringing our community together to uh, change the perception of Catford through uh, learning about its heritage and its history. So it's a really big community event. We've got, um, obviously at the end of the week, we've got our performances of Catford Tales, but the whole event has now become Celebrate Catford, which it would not have been if the community hadn't responded to it. We've got three exhibitions, three other performances, as you said, 60 people performing, um, and it's just, uh, it, it's just gone viral, if, if you can go viral within an um, environment. Uh, so, starting at the Broadway Theatre, audiences are actually going to be sort of following a trail around the town centre. That's right, well. yes. It's a promenade performance around the streets of Catford Town Centre. Um, and it will end up in the Broadway Theatre. Um, we've also got a silent movie night using the Compton organ, which was an original uh, organ. I think it's one of only two in the country that is in sight, still working, and we will be playing um, a, a silent movie. We're hoping bringing back the only Hollywood star that ever came from Catford. There was so, one? Yeah, I know, it's hard to believe. Elsa Lanchester, who, if you think of that iconic image of the Bride of Frankenstein with the white hair, hmm. married Charles Lawton. Ooh. You would. If you saw the image, you'd go, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but she was born in Catford. So she, uh, one of her films we're hoping to show, 1929 silent film. Uh, so for those who want to come and watch the performances, where can they get uh, details? So you can go straight to our website, Um We are um, on the Broadway's website, um, Ticket Source. Come on in, Molly, because I know you're desperate yeah, to, she to hop in shot. Come on, Molly. Come on in, very quickly, because you were running a bit late. Are you looking forward to uh, what's going on this week? Yes, I am. And what's the best thing going to be for you? Um, just um, 
getting the public to see the young people using the um, this cat fill as it in a positive way and um, learning more about Catford because in the first Catford tells we learnt so much. Um, I've lived in Catford or Lucian for 15 years and I didn't know so much then. Well, best of luck to both of you and thanks ever so much for coming in on this day live. Thank you. You're watching this day live, stay with us.